In this video, we will explore how we can implement Stripe webhooks and use that webhooks in our web application to handle Stripe transactions. We need to create webhook on the Stripe account and pass some events to the Stripe webhook. Stripe will be listening to that event and when any of these events will occur, it will trigger the notification to our endpoint that we have implemented in our uh, web application. So you need to click on this developers and these are option named webhooks so for the production you need to create uh, the add endpoint and you need to pass the some hosted endpoint here so this will be your uh, stripe webhook endpoint so when any of the event will occur you need to uh, pass the events here so for now the event we will be listening for is the checkout succeed so this is the event we will be listening for you need to add this event and you need to pass the uh, real time or some hosted uh, URL here. Let's suppose that google.com. So once this event will occur, uh, it will uh, Stripe will push a notification to this endpoint. And in this endpoint, we will retrieve the information from Stripe and store that information in our DB. So this is how the complete flow will work. So for this video, I am not using the hosted endpoint. I am using the uh, add local listener. So these are the steps that you need to perform for uh, adding the uh, Stripe webhook in your local application. So first of all, you need to download the Stripe CLI. And after that, you need to log into the Stripe uh, CLI. And then you need to uh, register your application to the Stripe CLI. So as you already know and that I have created this uh, application in my last video. So these are the endpoints that I have created. So the first endpoint is the uh, Stripe checkout session that will create an object of the Stripe checkout and we will pass this information to this. Uh, once the, uh, the payment is succeed, Stripe will call this uh, success URL. And in the success URL, we are retrieving the information from the Stripe session object and then printing that information. But this uh, Stripe uh, success URL is not enough to store the payment information. So we need to implement the Stripe webhook here. So first of all, let's test the complete already implemented API. So let's redirect to the uh, root URL and create and uh, redirect to the create se uh, checkout session api so we need to pass the information here i am passing a uh, testing card information here and once i click on the pay button it will redirect me to the uh, success url stripe has redirected us to the success url after the successful payment now we need to implement a webhook in our server the webhook will listen for different events. So once the Stripe received some payment, it will automatically call the webhook we implemented in our server. And in that webhook, we will retrieve the information from the Stripe and store that information in our DB. So in order to implement a webhook, we need to redirect back to the Stripe dashboard. The, so the first step we need to perform is to log in to Stripe CLI. I have already logged in to the Stripe CLI. Now the second step I need to uh, is to implement this webhook in our server. After that, we will be listening to that webhook. So let's copy this boilerplate code. So in my server, I am pasting that code. So I need to uh, pass the webhook secret here. So that this is a webhook secret for my account. Know that it is the secret only for the local webhook, not for the production. In order to uh, deploy this application, once this application is deployed, we need to pass the production or staging uh, webhook secret here. So the uh, Stripe will call this, uh, this webhook uh, endpoint. We retrieve the payload from the request. After that, we will construct the uh, webhook event and pass this information to it. So after this, if there is no error, we can listen for different events. So the event we need to listen here is a checkout session completed. So how we can check this? So if the event type, event is the object that we received here. 
so if the type of event is checkout session completed so it means that we need to pass double equal here so if this event is called this means that success and stripe has successfully proceed the payment so we can retrieve the information for stripe and then store that information in our db so we can print here that the payment is succeed after that we can retrieve the information from the event So this is the session of that that contains all the information for that session. The all the information that the user just filled in the Stripe payment page will be available here. I will print here for you. So this is the Stripe object that we will receive. Now let's test this webhook and then we can proceed further to retrieve the information from this session object. For now I am returning the response here. and with the status 200 so if this webhook is called the stripe will create a webhook event object here and from that event we will we are checking the type of event so if the event is the checkout dot session dot completed it means that the payment is proceeded so we can retrieve the information from that session object and then store that information in our db so the last step we need to perform is we need to we need to start the listener in our terminal so as you can see that you that it is ready and you are uh, using stripe api version and the webhook signature is this so this is a signature that i passed here so now let's restart our server and rerun the stripe payment page So I am opening the terminal for you. So if the payment is proceeded, as you can see, it has triggered different events. So the first event it triggered is the charge row succeed and it has redirected the user to the endpoint that I created. After that, it triggered an other event that is payment intent succeed and payment intent created. But this is the last event that Stripe is called. It means that the payment is successfully completed on the Stripe. So we will be listening to this event. So once this event is called, it means that Stripe has successfully uh, performed the transaction. So let's check the terminal. So as you can see, it has printed the payment and succeed means it has received this type of event and after that it has printed the session object. So from the session object, you can retrieve different information. So some of the helpful information can be this address if you are allowing the user to fill the address like here i am getting the country name the email that the user filled the name that the user filled the customer email and many other information as well so this is how the stripe webhook will work locally but if you want this to deploy to some uh, platform then you need to use the stripe production webhooks so I will tell you how you can create that as well. So you need to click on this add endpoint. You need to uh, sub first of all, you need to uh, specify the events that the Stripe will be listening for. Let's add the same event here. Like this event will occur when the checkout session has been completed at the event so here we need to specify the api like some sort of production api like this and this will be the your production webhook api that the stripe will call after uh, uh, after proceeding the transaction so let's suppose i am passing google.com here let's suppose so uh, once the stripe received the payment it will uh, trigger this event you can also pass some description here so once you click on the add endpoint so it has created a webhook in my account so this is the webhook ad that i just created and its status is enabled means this uh, webhook is currently enabled and it is waiting for events 
So these are the events that the Webhook hook is listening for. For now, I have provided only the completed checkout and dot session dot completed event. Means after the complete transaction, it will trigger this event. This is the API version, and this is the secret key that you need to provide in your code. Once you click on this reveal button, it will provide you the secret key, and you need to use that key in place of this local key. So this is how the complete uh, web hook will work. And here, once the you received the uh, checkout dot session dot completed event, you can abstract a different information from this session object and store this information in your DP. So this is how the complete uh, web hook will work. Thanks for watching.